date for this middleweight championship fight. Romero is six years his senior. Diaz will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. It's who's the most fighting out of the new corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Bologna, presenting the challenger, Noel, soldier of God, Romero! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Nick All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship fight. This should be good. Soldier of God gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Working the inside of that lead leg. Nary swung with a haymaker. Oh, that's as good a jab as you'll see, Joe. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Romero. Watch the shot here, Joe. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Romero. In on a single here. Back to the single. He transitions to the north-south. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he's trying to pass. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Both fighters get up now. And he hits a beautiful trip here. Might be trying to set up an arm bar here, Joe. Got the double wrist lock position. He popped out of the Kimura. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Diaz. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Big body punch. Good defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. He's got full mount here. Back to the feet now. Head kick lands, Joe. And he's looking for that left. Inside leg kick is there by Romero. Also, he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. 
Look at this. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, he's got double underhooks here in the clinch. Good spot to be. Horn sack for the end of the round. Stop. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. Okay? We're going to go back out there. We're going to stick to our jiu-jitsu. We're going to get the takedown. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. Second round underway. Nice. Good shots by the champion. Oh, right left combo by Diaz. Yeah, he's digging into that leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that grabs a hold of the wrist, pins it down from here. He's looking for the Kimura. He wants to wrap his arm around the back of his head. And he's free from the Kimura. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. He's got full guard. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Diaz. Elbowed him in the face. And he's back up to his feet. Oh, beautiful kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Diaz gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Soldier of God gets double underhooks now. And they disengage from the clinch. Yeah, and here he goes again. Soldier of God gets yet another takedown. Nice hammer fist. Working on a guillotine. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, and there out. it is! Stunning, and he really made it look easy. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, your winner by submission tonight. And it is going to take a spectacular effort to dethrone this guy at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. To the winner by tap out, 
into a guillotine choke. And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Nick Diaz. And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion and with style points tonight. How about the best 185 pounder in the world submitting the number one contender here tonight? And I'm not sure I've seen him celebrate a win quite to the extent to which he is right now, embracing